Hi, my name is Kwesi Johnson and I'm the Creative Director of the Cultural Assembly. So this video is to tell you about the Freelance Mastermind Group. So this is a group where free, creative freelancers come together to share ideas and help each other rethink, reset and relaunch. But most of all, find your accountability buddy who's going to help you get to where you need to get to. So you do the things that, the say, that you say you're going to do when you say you're going to do them. I'm a movement specialist. I've been moving bodies, minds and attitudes for over 20 years as a creative director, choreographer and dance educator. Now I work at the intersection of the arts, digital and commercial real estate and I help local authorities, creatives and property developers turn their unwanted, unused, empty buildings into hives of creativity and innovation using community, creativity and culture. I've had a background in the arts, I've had a background some interest in digital and I've had a background in real estate and I've always thought to myself like a lot of people I should be a little bit further along the game than most people because I know stuff and I know a lot of people you watching this you know stuff as well and you're thinking why am I here in a similar situation as everybody else I put my I suppose lack or what I feel is a lack is down to implementation. That means doing the things that you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it. There's people out there that are so driven and so focused that they say they're going to do something, they do it. Me, my background is as a creative, as an artist. Yes, we do stuff eventually. We get there and we get distracted by something because we're artists, we're creative and we can have a lot, a lot, a lot of ideas, amazing, brilliant ideas, but we go along one path and it's not working. So rather than push it in the trajectory or work with somebody that could push that idea a bit further, we change course and think of another idea. And before you know it, we've got five or six ideas that are half baked, half done, and not actually reached their full potential. So although we implement it at the beginning, we, we sometimes finish it, but there's this thing of, oh, let's think of a new idea because that's not working. However, the main thing that I found is when I get something done or achieve something is accountability. And that's having an accountability buddy. Now, I learned this from working in property where you have a property mastermind group, you come share ideas, share um, things that help within your industry. And it's not about holding secrets. It's about sharing the things that you learn and things that have helped you get further forward. Now, as creatives, we don't seem to do that enough. And I think the reason why we think why we do that is like, if I give somebody else my idea or my methodology, that's it. They'll take my superpowers and I won't be able to get any work anymore because they'll get all the work, work. Forget that. You're the person that makes the magic because you can have 10 different ideas that, and 10 different creatives that use that idea and you'll get 10 different results. So we have to get over that idea of, oh, if I share that's it, I'm finished. Nobody else is ever gonna hire me again. You've got to be able to be able to put your ideas out there and be able to work with other people to support you because you can support them at the same time because you're gonna have lack and they'll have lack. And it's about finding like minds that can help each other. So this is what I'm proposing, that we create a mastermind group, but within that mastermind group where we come and share, where people are not afraid to share, and if you are, it's fine. Just stay in, in your lane. It's cool. But I'm really interested in creating this mastermind group where we come help each other. But the main thing is that we have accountability buddies. Because at the moment, as creatives, as freelancers, this is where we're at. So the government are going to help us in when? June? Forget that. You need to help each other and need to be able to think for ourselves and do for ourselves. It's no point in mourning where we were and what we had on the horizon. It's about creating new ideas and something new. Because in times of crisis, we always create something that's special. We create some of our best work. I do when I'm under pressure. A lot of people do when they're under pressure. But if you're constantly thinking about the past, that means you're never going to move forward or in the future. So whilst we need to look at other industries for those clues, because a lot of the time within the arts, or if you're a freelancer within the arts, 
you don't get the answers because it's quite an ancient and old way of doing things. The way of the funding system is set up, the way the venues are set up to be reliant on third, third, third. That means third from philanthropy, a third of their income from ticket sales, and a third from funding. So two of those things have gone now at the moment, which is funding and also um, ticket sales. Yes, I'm sure they'll still have some philanthropy going on. However, we need to do for ourselves as artists because without us, there is no them. And without them, there is no us. Ha, I'll cut that actually, because without them, there is still us because we can still do our work. We can look in other ways and other industries that we can do our work. So for example, if I'm a set designer, I can look at then diversify, diversifying what I do and see if I can work with an architecture company or make custom made doll's houses for high net worth people where you charge two grand per design or five grand per design because it's so specific. Now, I'm not a set designer, but I'm sure hopefully if there's some set designers out there that have gone, that idea has just gone, of course I'll do that. So it's rather than thinking, oh, I'm gonna be this for everybody, look at your niche, look at who you are, look at who you can focus on. So, cause people that are high net worth, they're not struggling. So find where you can go to offer that service. So then you can still also continue doing the service that in probably an industry that's still a bit struggling like theater. It's gonna to continue to struggle. Um, even, you know, I've spoke to people where they're ballet dancers or they're dreaming of becoming a ballet dancer. Okay. Go on Instagram, find all the local people in your area that, I don't know, that are mums, that again are high net worth, that you can then focus. I'll do a ballet class online for those mums that have always dreamed of being a ballet dancer or, you know, a bit out of condition. Not saying that all mums are, but how can I help them create a body like mine as a dancer um, or at least get to some sort of place like mine? find out who they are, find out who your niche is. So really think about what you can do in other industries and how you can make and how you can realize it. However, you can have all these amazing ideas, but if you're not accountable and you don't do them and you mm, you'll think about it and you get distracted, like I do very easily, I'm, I think I get up in the morning, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. And before I know it, I'm doing something else. And I have to constantly keep looking at my list of what I'm supposed to be doing throughout that day to get to where I need to get to. So if by the end of that week, if I haven't done what I get, what I need to do, I'm not moving forward. Yes, I'm lucky, my, my wife, she kind of keeps me in check a little bit, but there's always sometimes out of the relationship or out of a relationship, somebody that you can work with that's a freelancer that knows what you're going through, that knows how to encourage you, not to beat you down because you didn't do it, it's, just literally like, well, you said you were gonna do this, this, and this, why? Because we can always make the best excuses to ourselves of why we don't do something. So all as I'm asking this group is about getting on board, talking to each other, but most of all, finding an accountability buddy within this group. So we'll do some regular webinars, we'll do some regular chats online where we can help each other. So this is what I'm proposing. If you're interested, sign up, hit a like, well actually I know you do a like because you might want to promote it and send it and share it, but actually send me a message to know, so I know that you're genuinely interested in being part of this accountability slash mastermind group. Okay, see you on the other side.